Yang satu film super serius Oppenheimer mengisahkan pengembangan bom atom pertama oleh ilmuwan Amerika Serikat. Hi Barbie. Yang satunya lagi film komedi Barbie yang mengundang tawa dan membangkitkan nostalgia masa kecil. I'll see Barbie tomorrow, see an Oppenheimer tonight, I'll see Oppenheimer again tomorrow, and then Barbie after Oppenheimer. Karena ditayang perdana bersamaan, banyak yang akhirnya menonton dua-duanya sekaligus. Fenomena yang dikenal sebagai Barbenheimer. It's a very highly anticipated watch, especially with Oppenheimer too. Like the double feature is really legendary. Yeah, they went all out with the marketing and mm -hmm. it just made me really want to see it. Totally opposite. One's more intellectual, the other one is more, you know, campy. And I just think people are just so, you know, been stuck at home. And finally, there's a movie that has some intellectuality to it. And then there's a Barbie movie that's taken to a whole nother level. Pemasukan box office film Barbie selama akhir pekan pertama nayangan perdananya di pasar Amerika Utara akhirnya menembus 162 juta dolar. Ini adalah opening weekend tersukses di Amerika Utara. Selama 2023, sementara untuk Oppenheimer pemasukannya juga melebihi ekspektasi pengamat perfilman. Sekitar 82 juta yang merupakan pemasukan signifikan untuk opening weekend untuk sebuah film yang bukan film superhero ataupun film sequel. Kedua film juga dipuji para kritisi dengan ulasan positif di situs Rotten Tomatoes. I think the early Barbenheimer effect was because the well-known IP of Barbie plus the well-known IP of Christopher Nolan were put together in a way that really sparked the imagination and just the differences of the two publicity stills. And so I think they've both been building off of each other the whole time. Sementara meme yang beredar di media sosial sebelum peluncuran kedua film ikut membuat penonton semangat. There's an idea that there are separate audiences for separate movies and this is really bucking that trend. It's showing that you have a you have two movies that couldn't appear on the surface more different but really they are appealing to the same audiences. People are multifaceted and want to see lots of different good things. Well, I think what they've managed to do is become a cultural phenomenon. Um you you've got two very different films um which were marketed extremely well. Um, obviously, I mean, Barbie is the most commercial of the two, but I think what they've managed to do is um, a, almost a, a grassroots campaign of film fans who who took the, the Barbenheimer concept and ran with it. Fenomena Barbenheimer akhirnya membawa sentimen positif ke box office AS setelah sejumlah film pada awal musim panas pemasukannya mengecewakan. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.